All right, so I'm gonna take off the ignition coil and the spark plugs. So let's unplug the ignition coil in here. These ignition coils are, are Hitachi. So, so that's the OEM Honda ignition coil or Hitachi's. Uh, let's see, it looks, like, looks like 10 millimeters. It's all right. 10 millimeters, see how tight they are. Sometimes they make them too tight. Not too bad. So apparently the third gen Honda Fit, you know, the uh, GK Honda Fit, this is easy. Whereas the, the previous generation, the second generation, the, what, what did they call it, G, I'm not sure what the second generation one, num, the, the name is, is but, but the second one, you can't get to the, uh, the spark plugs uh, like this. You actually have to take out the, the cowling up here because it's, it's like, it's, the cowling is more covered. It's, it's more over, uh, angle, overhangs more. I think there's less space over here too. So the GK is a little, slightly bigger, I think. I think the exterior dimension, if you just took purely by the length, you know, linear dimension, the exterior on the uh, on the uh, the second generation might be the same or maybe slightly longer. Uh, but the uh, GK one, it, it's overall it's a little bit roomier, a little bigger, it's because it's a little bulkier. You know, it's more bulbous, right? So it's a little bit bulkier, fatter, right? Fatter. Uh, but also they, they actually push the, the, the wheelbase further apart. So it has a longer wheelbase, but the overall length is neither the same or slightly shorter by like an inch or half an inch or something like that. Some small number. Uh, all right, so those are the mission coil. Let's just pull right off. One, two, three, four. So, mission coil. Uh, it's a good idea to keep them where order you took them off. Uh, keep them in the same order, just to kind of keep track of things. Um, uh, so I'm gonna do that. Ignition coil. Now I need to get there with a the spark plug. So I have to actually buy a brand new spark plug socket just for this. Uh, let's see if it fits. Okay, it fits. So 14 millimeter. It has to be a thin wall. If you, it's a thicker wall, it won't fit. It's very tight fit. So this one fits. So that's good. Where's my? Let's see how deep this goes. Oh, my socket right here doesn't even clear. Have a shorter one. Have a shorter one. That goes. Let's see how deep it goes first. Okay, I feel it. That's what I feel the top of it. Let's, uh, let's hit it with my uh, my uh, little thing right here. A little magnet on it. Oh, that little sleeve is a. Um, the little sleeve right here is, is actually steel. My magnet is sticking to it. Okay, so I'm at the top right there. I'm at the top. So it goes in that deep. So yeah, right there. And once this spark plug slash slides in, it's gonna go in like probably about that much deeper. So that's probably why uh, 
Oh, it's sort of not quite lengthwise. It's not not quite there. So since I can't use my longer one because it because it interferes right here, and this one's too you know too short. I actually have one that's uh, I have another one. I have two short ones. So you can just use two short ones, and these these are wobble ones, so it gives you a little bit more angle, right? To fit in there. But again, this one because this thing is maybe if I could. Yeah, nah, I don't want to force anything. So I'm gonna get two of these. I have a wobble one and non-wobble one. So I'm just gonna connect the two together, and, and I think that that will that will work best. So let's do that. All right. So I've got my non-wobble and my wobble. So I'm gonna connect it like this with my wobble connected to my non-wobble. And my non wobble connected to my uh, my, my uh, uh, plug socket. So it goes all the way like that. Wobble one goes down. Like so it's in. All right, you guys can see that. It's in. It's my socket wrench. Wrench. Like so. Ninety, another ninety, two nineties, three nineties, four nineties, five, six. So four nineties was enough to loosen it up. So this is the the uh, travel side. So I'm looking at the top of my spark plug socket. It's, it's still it's still coming up, so that means it's still spinning out. When that stops coming up, that means it's, it stops spinning out. It means I reached the reached the end. So which is spot right there, I think. Okay. So it actually hits. So I actually disconnect. And there it goes. So here's my first. Uh, this is the driver side. Wow, look at that thing. That thing looks perfect. So look at the, the porcelain. It's nice and tan looking all around too, all the way around. The electrodes themselves looks perfect. Man, this thing looks perfect. Shit, looks that good. I don't even wanna clean this up. So it's NGK, it's not it's not a it's not a Denzo. But this is the original spark plug right here. Oh interesting, you see that? See the little bit of like a little dirtiness right there? Uh, I'm not sure where that's, that's from. I've never seen that before. Uh, but yeah, this looks perfect right there. Fantastic. That's fantastic looking. So let's see where I'm going to put this. I'm going to stick it to my mission coil right here. Like so. I'm not sticking it all the way in to attach the, the end here. I'm just going to stick it in so that, just to hold it, hold the spark plug in place. Um, like so. Uh, right. So on to the next one. So same thing. Right. Well, let me show you something real fast too before I start further. Because usually when people do spark plugs, uh, especially when they put a new spark plugs, they go, oh, you put anti-seize or some grease or something on the threads. If you're using NGK, you do not need that. NGK and Denzel. I'm not sure about other brands, but NGK and Denzel does not need any type of grease or anything like that. And you look at the from, from the factory, there is nothing. There's no grease, there's no nothing. It's clean. It's just, you know, this dirtiness is just from the combustion, right? All, all this dirtiness right here, that's from the combustion. But you look at it, it's completely clean. That's how it's supposed to be. You don't want to put, you know, anti seeds or even dielectric grease or whatever. You know, people put whatever sorts of shit on here. If you're using NGK or Denzel, don't don't need any of that stuff, and uh, and that's what I recommend. I recommend either NGK or Denzel. I, I, personally, myself, I like NGK more. Uh, Denzel tends to be kind of ex expensive, you know. But Denzel is actually, I think, if I can remember right, Denzel is owned by uh, a partially owned, I shouldn't say owned, but partially owned by Toyota. Toyota has a very large share in Denzel. They have enough of a share in Denzel that uh, that they could actually tell Denzel what to do. You know, it's kind of like Subaru. You know, Toyota has enough shares of Subaru where they could tell Subaru what to do. Well, actually, Toyota doesn't own Subaru directly, but they own Subaru indirectly, you know, because Subaru is owned by another company, a parent company, and, and, and Toyota has like a, has something like, a, I think also about a 15% sh 
shareholder or stakeholder in that, that company that owns Subaru. So that's why Toyota has such, such an uh, influence on Subaru and they could sort of tell, kind of sort of tell Subaru what to do because of that reason. All right, so spark plug number two, same thing. It's tan all the way around. There's a slight dot right here where this is kind of whitish, but it looks perfect, man. The spark plug looks perfect. I'm confident enough to, to say that, oh, I could just stick this plug, plug back in and still use it because I'm already here and everything's already taken out. I'm gonna put on new ones, but spark plug in this condition, I, I literally would keep on using this. I mean, looking at the Electro, the Electro looks good. You know, it looks nice and sharp. It's not all rounded out. It looks really good. Very good. So, put on the next one. Yeah, hey, I'm not just keeping my uh, ignition coil in, in the order, but I'm also keeping the spark plug in that order too. Just to, you know, just to keep a, keep a good eye on it. <clears throat> Some people say, oh yeah, you know, when you, before you take out the spark plug, you should like spray it out. The, the nature of the, how the ignition coil attaches in here. You know, it, the, it, it's like a little sleeve that goes into this. So this seals everything, so it doesn't really get dirty. Uh, you see this right here, this is like a little bit of dirtiness, but that's not actually not the... Uh, that's not dirt from the outside, that's actually dirt from within, within the piece. It's the, it's the metal itself. It's a little bit of corrosion because basically it's red. You see that redness? That's rust. So that's the corrosion from from in, from inside. So, so that's the difference. So here's the third one from the driver's side. Third from driver's side. Same thing with this one. It looks perfect. Nice and nice and uh, tan looking. The electrodes themselves looks nice and sharp. It's not it's not all eroded. Perfect. Yeah. So these type of electrodes, you know, these, these I think these are, are let's see, let's see the numbers on him. NGK. Uh, D I L Z K A R seven C eleven S. So I believe these are um, these are the NGK laser iridium. So the so the usually the stock the stock spark plugs that are NGK are, are usually laser iridium. So so the laser iridium spark plugs they're good for hundred thousand miles. So I could go you know because right now my car is at eighty eight thousand miles. So I could go another you know twelve thousand miles. Uh, before I, I even consider uh, doing any type of uh, replacement, but because I'm at you know I'm at eighty-eight thousand miles, so basically just shy of ninety thousand miles. I'm doing the uh, ninety thousand mile service, uh, and because my 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 V VTC is starting to rattle. Uh, I mean it's not it's not every time, but. It's only when it's really cold and if I park it for like three days, it does it. Uh, otherwise, outside of that, it doesn't do it. So I'm just, so I want to take care of that as soon as possible. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing this this, this soon. Otherwise, normally I would wait at least 90,000 miles, even 100,000 miles before I do any of this. Uh, same thing with my, my uh, the intake valves, you know, I'm gonna why not blast them. I'm doing it right now because why I have all this apart. You might as well do everything, you know. Actually, I think I think they they say to do this why not blast it sooner. I think they say say something like maybe uh, maybe sixty thousand miles or something like that, or, or forty thousand miles or whatever it is, whatever number it is interval they have. They don't. I don't think they say as as long as. You know, ninety thousand or, or hundred thousand miles, right? So this is the passenger side. Same thing, nice and nice and tan. 
nice and tan and uh, um, and the electrodes are nice and sharp and the gap the gap looks good too it looks just about right eyeballing it so everything looks perfect so these spark plugs don't need to, don't need to be changed they could they could last they could run for a while longer um, they could certainly run for a while longer but I'm changing it because you know uh, because I'm already in here I might as well do it because I don't want to take this manifold off I don't want to take it off again at 100,000 miles just to change the spark plug you know, that means I have to spend money on the, the the gaskets and everything you know each gasket is five bucks that's 20 bucks in gaskets so I'm like yeah you know spark plugs are actually actually these are expensive spark plugs these spark plugs are like I think these spark plugs are like twenty dollars each for these spark plugs so very expensive plugs uh, actually if you get it from the dealership if you get it from Honda I think they're like thirty bucks each if you get it uh, like on Amazon or something like that they're, they're, I think they're only like twenty bucks or fifteen bucks or something like that a little cheaper. All right, so so that's the ignition coil and that's the spark plugs. All right, so we're good there, and that's how you uh, remove remove those.